Hi Yapsy. I'm sorry I couldn't be there with you, but as you can see, I'm stuck in this hellhole. Nevertheless, I've been working hard on some new modules, and I want to share a sneak peek of one of them with you. So the problem that I'm wanting to solve is the problem of how do I understand how a regex matches a particular string? So if I've got a regex and a string that I'm trying to match, then I can mess around on the command line and do something like this. Take the string and match it against the regex. And if it does match, say matched. And indeed, that particular string does match that particular regex. But if I want to understand what was actually matched, then I need to be a little bit cleverer. I need to write something like this, where not only do I say it matched, I also say what matched. And indeed, I find that it did match ABC. That still doesn't tell me where in the string precisely it matched or what it did to do that matching. Was there backtracking involved? Is this an efficient way of doing it? So if I want information like that, there's actually something that comes with Perl that will help you. If you say use re debug and then you do your regex match, then this is what happens you get quite a bit of information. The first bit of information is kind of the internal representation of the regex, what it got compiled down to in a language that most people can probably puzzle out, but can get very tricky if the regex gets more complicated. The next bit of information you get is a series of bits of information about the internal op optimizations of the regex and how it's going to start matching. And then finally, you get a trace of everything that happened within the regex engine and how it actually matched. Once again, this is in a fairly complicated language that can take time to understand, but it does eventually give you some information. So I got a bit sick of using that mechanism for tracing the complicated regexes that I was trying to write. And I decided I wanted something a little bit nicer. So I created my own module called regex debugger. If you use regex debugger in a lexical scope, then any regex that matches in that lexical scope not only does the normal match, but now also does this. You get a visualization of both the regex and the string it's matching and the locations in both the regex and the string where you're matching at the moment. And then you can step through the match, seeing what's being captured to where, what's being tried, what's being matched, what's being saved, what's being repeatedly matched, and how much of it matched, what's being tried and failing, any backtracking that occurs to try, say, the next alternative, failures on those, backtracking to the start, trying the various components again, failing or succeeding as the case may be, repeating, and so on and so forth. And so you can see the entire process by which the regex actually matches what it matches. And then at the end you can see what failed, what matched, So that's really very handy, except that it gets very tedious having to type in Perl minus E use regex debugger all the time. So I created a simple little utility called rxrx, rx diagnostic, that lets you do this. You start off with no regex and no string, but you can type in a regex, which it remembers, and you can type in a string which it remembers, and then you can say match the two. And then once again, it will simply walk through and do the match for you. And here I'm going to do it a little bit faster because we've already seen this one. The nice thing about that is then we can say, well, what if I had a different string? And then you put the different string in and say match that. And once again, it starts doing the match. 
So it looks and matches. It matches a whole lot. Looks and fails. Backtracks one. Fails. Backtracks one. Fails. Backtracks one. Fails. Etc. 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 And if we keep doing this, it's just going to keep doing that until it goes all the way back and fails and attempts to find the other one and matches and then moves down the string and tries from the next position. Which it eventually matches and then repeatedly matches and then fails again. And starts backtracking one at a time, trying shorter and shorter lengths. And this represents something that's fairly important in designing regexes, which is you've got to try and minimise the backtracking because it's what makes it expensive. If I keep going here, you'll see that it keeps doing this. It'll fail again and backtrack and backtrack and backtrack. Now this gets very tedious in the regex debugger just to watch this going on. So the regex debugger also has an option that just says, look, keep running until you actually successfully match something. And in this case, it's going to keep running, keep running, keep running, and again and again until it completely fails. So the nice thing about this little utility is we can say, OK, well, maybe then I should change the regex and find a more optimal one. And in fact, the optimal one here is to use the double plus operator, which is the non-backtracking repetition. So if I make that the regex and then match it, then something quite different happens when I start doing my matching. I still capture, I still match something. I now capture as many as possible without backtracking, which captures all of them. I now try and match the C, which fails at which point it backtracks all the way past all of the repetitions, tries the other alternative, fails, moves down the string and starts again. Matching all of them again, failing again, backtracking all the way. And if I accelerate this one and run through it all, we'll see that it runs quite a lot more quickly simply because it's not doing all that backtracking. The module understands all of the modern syntax of regular expressions, right up to 516. So you can put extremely complicated regular expressions in there and then watch them execute. So you can watch modifiers being changed. You can see named captures occurring. You can see named subroutine calls happening where it jumps down to another part of the code, matches something successfully, and then having finished matching, jumps back and remembers that information under the named capture. It also understands things like postponed subpatterns, where you execute a piece of code which returns some kind of subpattern, which then gets attempted. And in this case, that's going to fail. So it backtracks, tries in the next position, does its subcapture again, fails again backtracks one more time, does its match, generates, matches successfully this time, gets to the end of the match so it remembers the AA and dollar two, skips over the definitions and then the regex matched. So at this point, I hope that you're fairly keen to have this module and you'll probably do something like download it from CPAN. Unfortunately, you won't because it's currently not on CPAN. I've still got about five weeks work to get it to a stage where I think it can be safely released. And I'm aiming at the moment to have it released at OzCon. In the meantime, I hope that you really enjoy the rest of Yapsi and I'll look forward to seeing you somewhere at some Pearl Conference in the future.